Alright, thanks for joining me for today's video. Today's video is part two of our Karn Winnen Kingsman replica prop pistol build. Today we're going to be discussing priming, painting, putting together the kit, and overall finishing the piece. And speaking of kits, you can find one of these Karn Winnen kits on my Etsy page uh, at Sundowner Studio, all one word. Now these pieces are resin and I will do my best to help you out with finishing them but if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer them. Alright this is our kit consisting of a pair of grips, under barrel, trigger, and a fake shell here. Now uh, with our under barrel we'll have a, a seam line that we need to take care of. You can kind of see it here. I recommend using an X-Acto knife. Uh, we can kind of just scrape, don't really cut. You can scrape the, uh, the seam all the way around, taking out any flashing you see at all. Um, and then we'll use sandpaper. So I'd, I'd start at probably about a three, 400 and move all the way up to about an 800, uh, which will give us a nice smooth finish. And uh, same thing with the uh, trigger here, as a little bit of flashing, I recommend using a small file uh, to take that flashing off around the edge. Um, same thing with the grips here too, they might have a little rough edge here. Go ahead and use that file and work your way uh, across the entire uh, edge of the grip there. Alright, on to our grips. Remember we want that smooth edge, so go ahead and use that file to make sure we have a nice smooth edge um, to glue down. Now you'll see I have a couple different browns. Um, I have a light, a medium, and a dark. And really doesn't matter what browns they are, but we're going to layer them on, starting with the lightest, and then moving on to uh, medium and then dark. So. I went ahead and uh, spray painted already so you can take a look at uh, a finished piece here and it has a lot of gloss on it I didn't like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some steel wool and we're gonna weather it a little bit we're gonna buff out that gloss and bring in some of the uh, uh, black uh, resin underneath so it's gonna be various browns and black and this is what it's gonna look like an awesome weathered grip here. All right, now we're going to be talking about uh, how to attach the underbarrel. You can see here I've primered it. Um, I wanted a nice smooth finish, so uh, I sanded the seam line down and hit it with some primer just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So uh, we're going to be using uh, some epoxy. We're going to be using super glue to uh, fit it. The super glue is going to uh, um, go on the edges here and that's going to be fast acting. It's going to keep everything in place. So we're using the epoxy up here to uh, let it sit. So the super glue is going to keep it in place while the epoxy cures. All right, after some time uh, letting that epoxy cure, it looks like we have a nice sturdy piece here. So next we're going to fill this little gap here. Uh, between uh, the frame and the underbarrel and if it's not a big deal to you that's fine but I wanted to make it look like it's one single piece like the frame and the underbarrel are uh, are one solid piece and what we're gonna use is some wood filler this stuff is really nice um, it doesn't give off a lot of fumes like Bondo and uh, it dries fast and sands very smooth um, so this is a great great product that I use in a lot of my props especially for the small uh, gap fills. So uh, grab a spatula or a dull X-Acto knife in this case. And um, it should be kind of like a paste material. Don't, don't water it down too much. Um, so we're just gonna fill this crack here. Now don't worry about putting on too much or not enough because we can always add or, or we can always sand off what we don't need. Um, this will be sanded down. So we're just going to keep on spreading here. And then we're going to let that dry. All right, after some time with this, I believe our wood filler is dry here. Um, 
we'll flip it over to the other side where I've already started sanding. You can kind of see there uh, it's starting to come together as one piece. So uh, you'll have to grab your sandpaper and uh, just keep sanding down and then you'll want to grab your primer and our primer is going to help us uh, find low spots or maybe places we need to sand down. So it's a delicate balance between the two, sandpaper and primer. Sand, then your prime, sand, prime some more, and you'll keep going back and forth. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, after a bit of sanding and priming, uh, we're starting to look like one piece here. And uh, what really helps is the primer. Uh, getting the uh, sandable, the two-in-one fillable and sandable primer, you can see here, certainly helps a ton. All right, now we're gonna prep these pieces for priming. I recommend using a Brillo pad. Um, it's going to help rough up the finish just enough to give the primer something to stick to. So I recommend going through all of the pieces here with Brillo pad um, so that sand, that uh, excuse me, that primer will uh, adhere to the pieces a little bit better. Um, also, we want to cover up the insides too. So anything that moves, uh, anything, uh, any of the mechanical pieces, we want to cover up with some tape. So what you can do is just grab some painter's tape and uh, kind of stick along uh, any of those pieces that we want to keep paint out of. Um, so that's the slide, that's going to be uh, the frame itself here. So anything that moves along we don't want paint in. So go ahead and trim it if you need to, um, but make sure we get it all taped off before we start painting. Alright, I recommend hanging your piece when you paint it. You'll get a nice even finish over the whole piece. So we're using flat black as our base coat, so make sure we get a nice even finish here. All right, now that we have uh, all of our pieces painted in flat black, we can move on to actually finishing it. And we're going to uh, kind of get messy, so wear gloves, grab some cotton balls, and also grab some graphite lubricant, or also known as graphite powder. This is used to uh, lubricate locks and other metal materials, but it's going to provide a nice gunmetal shine to our piece. You can see here on the frame and hammer, I left the frame flat black and just did the hammer in the graphite powder so you can see the difference here. So my camera, I'll focus in here, it'll give us a nice shiny gunmetal finish and you can see that against the flat black, it turned out really well. Now again, this stuff is super messy. If you don't have graphite powder, you can use a standard black satin finish. Um, or if you're going to handle this piece a lot, uh, you can seal it with a, a clear uh, semi-gloss. But just remember, it's going to take the shine away. So um, grab the uh, powder here. And a lot goes a long way. Again, very, very messy, so make sure you have some paper towel or something down. So you put a little bit on this back strap here. Grab a cotton ball, and we're going to uh, just buff it in. Just all over, um, just kind of buff it in until you get a nice shine to it. All right, so as you can see, that uh, gunmetal shine's coming through, and that turned out really, really nice really happy with that. Again, that shine will go away if you seal this and I only recommend sealing it if you're going to be like costuming, costuming with this piece. Um, if it's a display piece or if you're just going to you know have it and mess around with it, you'll be fine with the graphite powder um, without the sealer. So we're going to do this across the entire frame. Um, we're going to do it across the slide. All right, uh, so it looks like we get a nice even finish um, with the graphite powder. We've got a nice shine to it. So next we're going to uh, install the trigger. This is gonna be super easy. We're gonna use super glue, okay? So uh, just put a little bit on and we're gonna put a little bit on the top. And we're just going to slide it into the trigger guard 
and we want to make sure that uh, it goes all the way forward so it should be touching the uh, back of the under barrel here. Alright next up we're going to install the grips and we're going to install these grips using super glue. Uh, super glue is fast acting um, so it won't take long to cure. So pretty simple go around the perimeter with your super glue and we're going to place it down but what we want to do is avoid this magazine release because if we cover that up we're not going to be able to get the magazine out anymore so uh, it's kind of close just keep an eye on that that we don't cover that up because again um, you won't be able to get the magazine in or out okay so I recommend clamping it too if you can Alright, this is our finished piece, our finished Karn Winnin uh, Kingsman replica prop pistol. I really dig the finish on it. It uh, has very a realistic feel and look to it. If you guys have any questions over this build, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Just go ahead and put them in the comments section. Um, this was a really fun build. Um, if you don't want to put any more work to this, uh, this one is going to be for sale. So just go ahead and